Yes, it's real James. Okay, so yes, let's get straight into it. I'm very sorry, I haven't been here in two weeks. First week I wasn't able to make it because we didn't have internet. Now, thankfully, we have a little plug-in dongle thing that works terribly. And last week was my birthday, so I was off getting drunk and turning 22 and being old and responsible. Not at all. You've got mail. I don't care. Oh, look, I won the lottery in Brazil. No. Okay, so let's take a look at the trends in Ireland today. First off, we have RIP Steve Jobs. Um, if you haven't heard already, I'm pretty sure you live under a rock. The, uh, the ex-CEO. A majority shareholder of Apple, Steve Jobs, has passed away. He passed away last night after a lengthy battle with pancreatic cancer. What can you say when a person who has changed so much of the modern world dies? There is nothing. I suppose, though, proof that you changed the world and that you made an impact was that the majority of the earth discovered you died using your devices. I was on my MacBook. People were on their iPhone, people were on their iPod Touch, people messaged each other, Skyped each other, tweeted each other using using his devices. And a testimony, if anything, to how much better he made the world and how much easier he made life for each and every one of us. So yeah, that leads into our second trending topic. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Rest in peace. Next up is Jedward Eurovision 2012. No! Also trending is, my boyfriend is English. Nobody cares. That's not something to be proud of. Sean Gallagher and Michael D are both trending because they are both running for the Irish presidency along with a few other people. The election is this day, three weeks, and Michael D is my favourite out of the two of those. He is um, a member of the Labour Party and therefore is for equality for every citizen of the country, and that includes myself, so that I don't have to go around for the rest of my life going, what, uh oh, simply because I can't get married. Although my number one preference is going to David Norris, simply due to the fact that I believe that he is the best candidate for the job. He is proof that everybody's human and you will do anything for the ones you love. If you don't know what I'm talking about, search Senator David Norris. You will find a million things that the press have tried to pull out due to the fact that they can't really pull out the fact that he's openly gay and doesn't really care what you think about it. But I think that he is my number one. Michael D will get my number two and... I'm not voting for any of the rest of the candidates. They can all suck it. A lot of people are talking about the Irish president and elections and saying David Norris shouldn't get it and that even if we do elect David Norris, LGBT people won't get any further rights um, because the president doesn't have that much power in the Irish... Maybe that was inside my head. Doesn't have as much power in the Irish... Go hours. Oh, well, you just ruin everything, don't you? It doesn't have as much power in the Irish governmental system, but I think it's more so a principle. You know, homosexuality has been legal here since 1993. Yes, homosexuals are still discriminated against, not only in the law, but in this case, um, what I'm talking about, in general, people are bullied, people are attacked, people are assaulted simply because they're gay. And I think that electing an openly LGBT president will be proof that this country is ready to move on. It is not what it used to be. It is not run by the church. It is not run by the Catholics anymore, which I love. On to someone I want to spend a bit more time talking about, Jodie Marsh. No. 